Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. I want to talk to you about Federal Pacific Electric Panels. I want to answer four questions. What is a Federal Pacific Panel? What's the problem with Federal Pacific Panels? How do you know if you've got one in your home? And what should you do if you do have one in your home or if there's one in the house that you're considering purchasing? Well, Federal Pacific Panels are panels that were manufactured from about the early 1950s until about the mid 1980s. Uh, they're also known uh, by the name Stablock. Stablock is a certain type of breaker that was designed and used with many of the Federal Pacific panels. So the name Federal Pacific or Stablock are essentially used interchangeably. Uh, I did a study uh, on my computer. Basically, I did a search of all the inspection reports that I've completed over the years. That's about 5,500 reports. And what that showed me is that there has been at least one Federal Pacific panel in about 11% uh, of the houses that I've inspected. So that shows that there are a lot of those panels still out there. And the problem with these panels uh, are twofold. So let me show you an example of a Federal Pacific uh, panel. This is out of a Federal Pacific panel. This is the bus bar, the silver things are where the breakers lock into the panel. Uh, the slot is where the stab lock portion of the breaker snaps into the panel to make the electrical connection. This is a Federal Pacific breaker. This right here is the stab lock portion of the breaker, this copper part. Now, the bus bar on the panel is made of aluminum, and to install one of these into a Federal Pacific panel, basically what happens is this copper stab lock part snaps into that slot and that's where you get your electrical connection just right here. Now, as metals or any conductor carries electricity, uh, it will warm up. Uh, now, copper and aluminum expand at different rates as they heat. And because the copper and aluminum are expanding at different rates, uh, that can cause the connection between the, the breaker and the panel to loosen up. Now, when there's a loose electrical connection, that can generate heat. Uh, there have been fires and there's been melted breakers as a result of this. So that's one of the problems with, with Federal Pacific panels. Now, the more prominent and severe problem with these panels is that a lot of the breakers simply won't trip. Now this is a single pole breaker. It's what carries uh, the power to most of the loads in your home, the lights, the electrical receptacles and things. This is a double pole Federal Pacific panel. It carries the bigger loads uh, or supplies the bigger loads in your home, such as uh, your clothes dryer, your electric oven, water heater, air conditioner, heater, uh, things like that. Uh, there's been various studies conducted over the years to determine how many Federal Pacific breakers fail to trip. And I compiled uh, the results of eight different studies in this table right here. And what it showed is that of the oh, more than 4,300 panels or breakers that were uh, tested, 18% of those breakers failed to trip. Now on the double pole breakers, over 1,700 breakers were uh, tested and 42% of those breakers failed to trip. Now, that now that's a very high percentage of breakers that don't trip. Now, if some of these breakers are installed in your home, that creates a fire hazard if you ever have an overcurrent situation. Now, I've heard people say, well, apparently this panel's fine. Look at it, it looks good. We've never had any problems. Well, unless you've had an overcurrent situation, uh, a Federal Pacific panel can do its job of passing current on uh, out to the various circuits in your home. But what about the one time that there is an overcurrent situation? You want that breaker to trip and to stop the electricity from flowing. You want that breaker to protect your home from a possible fire. 
Now let's uh, say that you've got a Federal Pacific panel in your home. You've got a few double pole breakers and you've got some single pole breakers. Based on the table that I showed you, which compiled those eight studies together, there's a, probably about 30% of the breakers that are there to protect your home would not trip if there was an overcurrent situation. So that's a 30% chance that you could have an electrical fire if you ever have an overcurrent situation. Now, breakers and your electric panel have one job to do, and that is to protect your home. If they can't be depended on to do that, then they're, they're not doing their job. And that is definitely a concern with these Federal Pacific panels. Now, how, how do you uh, know if you've got a Federal Pacific panel in your home? Uh, I'll show you some pictures here that can help you to identify them. Uh, you look for the words Federal Pacific, Federal Pacific Electric, FPE, Stab Lock, and another way is to look at the tips of the breakers. Almost all of them have this red color on the tips of the breakers, and that's also a good way to identify them. Now, if you do have a Federal Pacific panel in your home, what should you do? My advice to you would be to have an electrician replace that panel with a new modern dependable panel. Now, if you don't replace it, is your house gonna burn down? No, probably not, but your house will definitely be safer with a new uh, panel that you can depend on to do its job. A lot of homes go their entire lifetime, so to speak, with never having an overcurrent situation. And if this is the case with your home, then that Federal Pacific panel uh, won't be a problem. But you just never know when there's gonna be some kind of problem in your home uh, that causes an overcurrent situation and you want that panel that's there to protect your home to be able to protect your home. And you just cannot count on a Federal Pacific panel being able to do that. So um, I, as a home inspector or a licensed electrician, cannot come and look at your Federal Pacific panel and simply by looking at it, be able to tell you, oh yeah, this is a good one or this one's not, or be able to look at the breakers and say, yeah, these will trip or these won't. There's no way to know that. So the safest thing to do is to replace that panel. That's my recommendation to you. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks. Have a great day.